I'd like to show you a little warm-up exercise that's kind of a pendulum swing called toe up, toe up. And what that will do as you do this exercise is give you a feel of the correct release motion through the ball. Toe up, toe up. You may have heard of this exercise before and think when it's uh, toe up that the club is pointed directly away from the target and then toe up it's pointed directly at the target. But it's actually better if you make that toe up position back here to the inside. When you're working with the mat, it should duplicate that red line on the mat there again, just like in the mini drill. So it's toe up from the inside, and then as you come through, it's not actually pointed at the target. It points out to the right of the target. Toe up, toe up. Bertholli shows that as one of his positions, uh, pointed to the right of the target when the club shaft is about parallel with the ground. So as you relax and do that toe up, toe up, and get that going in a swinging motion, it's gonna feel great to you. It, and you get the feel of the correct release motion through the ball. Toe up, toe up, toe up, toe up. Try it, I think you'll like it. When practicing with the frame using a driver, you simply tee the ball up through the hole to the left and then do the same thing you do with the other clubs. Just take the club head back over the yellow line and fire away. The frame is great, of course, for practicing short shots around the green. This is where you can really cut strokes off your game. Here's a tip on how to take what you learn practicing with the frame onto the course in actual play. Rather than just hitting a ton of balls in a row off the mat, try alternating hitting only about four or five shots off the mat and then four or five without the mat. This will help you quickly transfer what you learn with the frame to real shots without it. And that becomes a real confidence builder based on real feedback. We've covered a lot of territory, but there's one thing we haven't talked about, and that's the transition from the backswing to the downswing. Now those drills, the dropping into the slot and the mini drill, gives you a clue about that. It's gonna come into that position, parallel to the red line on the mat here. But I'm gonna give you a clue as to how to perform that that I think you're gonna like a lot. If you go to the top, and then you push down with the left hand, and that right elbow goes in right next to the right hip and your hips move forward. Bump and then a turn through the ball. And you're kind of maintaining the same kind of feel in your hands throughout this. It's just that the left hand increases pressure here going down and you're redirecting that energy to here and then down into the ball but it becomes one smooth motion. You can do it with your hands like this. You just go back to the top, press down, turn through, and do that as a training drill. You can even do it as an isometric exercise where you push real hard between your hands here. You go to the top, position number two, hold. Three, hold. Impact position, hold finish and hold. Doing that as an isometric, you're uh, training the mind to feel those positions. Then you can do it very, very gently and your mind can absorb it in a different way and then perform it quickly in, in real time with a real swing. But then you can press very gently between your hands, 
Go to the top, press gently. You still got resistance with the right hand, but you're pressing gently with the left. Down in through the ball and to the finish. You can do that as many times a day as you like.